Hi, and welcome to the video instructions for the Candy Corn Boat Challenge, all part of the Evansville Museum's Neighborhood Halloween Bash. Thank you to our sponsor, D. Patrick Auto Dealerships, for sponsoring this event. Now, you're just going to need a couple different supplies. You're going to need some candy corn. These are going to be our passengers for our boat and some tin foil. Now for this challenge, you can also add some more things like additional tin foil, um, tape, you can use um, cork if you have any around your house. And the goal here is we're gonna make the best boat possible. You'll also need a container of water. Um, you can use a bucket or fill up a sink, whatever works best for you. Let's get started. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're going to make our own boats. I think I'm gonna try a raft design. You might like to go for something that's a bit more like a canoe or maybe round, maybe even a triangle boat. This is your chance to be creative and try out all sorts of different designs. Okay, so my thinking is if I can make this nice and solid, then maybe the weight of the candy corn won't cause it to bend, but let's find out. This is all about experimenting. So this is my body of water, and let's see if my raft floats. Yes, yes it does. Okay, so let's see how many candy corn passengers we can put on our raft before it starts to sink. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, part of the edge is going. The edge is going. Right there. I think we can get 10 on though. Oh, it's going down. 10. Okay, so I got 10 on my raft here. So you might like to try a design that has some edges to keep the water out. You might want to have a wider boat, a skinnier boat. Um, try different designs. So what you can do next after the first time it sinks is you can take your candy corn back off. Ah, they all sink. Put those there. Take your piece of tin foil and you can unfold it and try a different design. So set yourself um, a challenge, see how many um, candy corn you can get on your first design, and then see if you can improve upon it with your second one. And that's how you make a candy corn boat. So give it a try at home and please post your results at hashtag Evansville Museum and hashtag Halloween Bash 2020. I'd love to see photos of the boats you create, and I'd also like to know how many candy corn passengers you can fit. Can you beat my record? I think so. So thank you so much and bye.